Well, guys, have I got a haul for you. Go over on Instagram right now and check out the raffle I got going on on this huge box of Halloween goodies. I know it might seem kind of weird, but this movie has been on a loop since I've been sick. And I just love laying here just listening to it. Well, I don't even know where to begin. Yes, I am still sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. And this thing is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> and won't let go. I haven't been this sick in years. So, um... I am actually feeling well enough to do this. And I have listed um, some things in the shop and I have been uh, of, you know, obviously um, getting orders and stuff out still. So I'm, I'm still functioning to that degree. Um, but, you know, uh, not at as heightened of a, <laughs> a level, not my usual uh, crazy self, um, you know, not knock down a few notches, I guess. Um, I still have a lot more stuff to show you. So there is going to be another video coming up um, of the majority of my haul from that flea market we went to. But um, some of this stuff is mixed in with stuff that I've already got in this room. This is my dining room. And um, so this is just kind of thrown around in here. I thought we would do a different little... Uh, vibe going on here so we'll just go with this and see how you think see how you feel um let's see here this first thing over here i got this for myself of course doctor is in please be seated it's an old brass sign um that i paid way too much money for that is going to go in my vintage medical collection I don't know if you've seen the one video. If you hadn't, then you probably didn't get to see this wonderful, <laughs> weird bobblehead. Um, this is a German Minerva, um, you know, metal head, metal. She's already listed in the shop. And this chick right here, um, while I was sitting in bed, um, you know, feeling under the weather, <laughs> I decided to give myself lots of blisters. I don't know if you see that or not, but I am not the best person in the world to be handling a hot glue gun. But she was beautiful enough, um, this head. She is a broken head, um, as you can tell here. She has been glued back. It wasn't me that, that has done it, but I gave her a crown and a stand, and I figured somebody would like to have her as their, you know, Halloween decor or just sitting there gracing their shelf. So she's going to be listed. Um, it's another head that I had found. She's just got a pretty face. She does look German also, which I'm not sure. What do we have back here? Uh, I can't tell. But it has that German face. Beautiful eyelashes and that. So that is a porcelain head. That will be listed in the shop. This one I think I already have listed. This is a composition head, very pretty. Got lots of wear, a little chip right here, but maybe I should turn the movie off. <laughs> I keep hearing, I keep hearing it in the background here, but yeah, she's a beautiful little piece. And if you like doing assemblages, or even if you just like them sitting around like this, they're wonderful pieces. Let me turn my movie off. There we go. 
And then I found these letters. They're random. They don't match, but they spell ghost, which is fabulous because we are on the verge of Halloween. So in all actuality, I've got a couple pictures of ghosts that I would probably, I think I'm going to use them on that just to kind of add a little bit of extra interest to the picture. And yes, there is a jar of doll heads. <laughs> They're probably a couple inches. And they are all blinky doll heads. And they're in the shop. And they're perfect Halloween decor. This guy right here. Another head. Yes, I, <laughs> I found lots of heads. Um, got these too, which these are awesome. These are vintage ghost train tickets. And I'm selling them um, three tickets, um, you know, a piece. Um, so I got a decent amount here and, um, I'm selling them, you know, three tickets and one little strip on the shop. Um, let's see this one you've already seen. Oh, we have my eyeballs here. My eyeball picture, um, from an old, uh, portrait that was in really rough shape and the word spooky. So yeah, Part of my Halloween -y decor. We have another tin metal head there. And this one right there. I'm not sure about that one. I did. Let me move this. You're going to have to apologize. I'm apologizing here ahead of time. I got some dust going on. Um, but I put it on a little base there. And that one would be awesome with a little tea light or something in it. And have the, uh, you know, light coming out of the eyes. My trademark mo i love to do with old doll heads oops that wasn't good now i have a plethora of ghost train tickets lying here oh here we go back up okay and then i found this chick right here one of those china doll heads cute about her is she's in excellent condition and she's got that blonde hair and let's move over this way um yes i have a cheeto bag on <laughs> i have an empty cheetos bag underneath my candle so that it doesn't drip on my furniture don't judge <laughs> um let's see here i got this guy an excellent price isn't that wonderful? Look at the ghosties and the cats and stuff on it. It's a wooden handled one. I got it for $15, which is a steal, I think. Great deal. And then this guy right here. Yes, you are correct in saying <laughs> he is missing one ear. His left ear is gal. Don't know what happened to it. But he's an awesome piece. He's a, an old antique German roly-poly. And you know how I love clowns. These kind especially are my favorite. And I did find this old pack here too of assorted chews. Smiles in excellent condition. And it's got a clown on it. So of course it's going in my clowny collection. Um, And yes, we have another jar of doll heads. <laughs> they are in the shop for sale um got this um old die cut um does have a few issues like there on its tail it's got a crease and stuff but <coughs> um, i think it was under 20 dollars for him and who doesn't need a metal beetle on a metal base stick i don't know anybody that doesn't i think i picked up at, at a yard sale for like a dollar but Halloween time, perfect Halloween decor, and <laughs> dun, 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 uh, piece de resistance. We have the creepiest doll in existence. Normally, I don't call dolls creepy. I just call them well loved. Okay, but this one, I don't know. She's she's she ah uh, she's creepy. <laughs> She's beyond well loved. She's she's just a little creepy. Um, yeah. So, anyways, if y'all have issues with that, I'm sorry, but I mean normally well loved, but 
her dang eyeballs are gone, and I have no idea how they would have become missing, for the plain fact that she doesn't have an open head. It's a solid head, so where the heck did her eyeballs go? You tell me. I have no idea. But, anyways... He's my little friend here. That's one of the ones of the many dolls that I purchased that I'm actually going to keep. I made a little crown for him. And this one that you guys have seen many, many times. And I just love these guys. This piece actually isn't vintage. It's a remake of Tiddlywinks. Um, the original, I think, was two cats with their mouths open that you would kind of flip the little discs in. But I got this because I was gonna use it myself. Of course, another project that I don't have time for because I've got many projects that I still need to um, do. So this is going in the shop for sale. Um, but isn't it cute? I was gonna use, <laughs> I was gonna use this, this kitty cat and I was going to actually put a taxidermy mouse <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put a taxidermy mouse kind of hanging from <laughs> from his mouth and just sit it on my shelf. Yeah, it's me, guys. <laughs> but anyways, it's in excellent condition, and it's, it's just a cute piece. So, I mean, maybe you can do that yourself. <laughs> this I've had my eye on. Um... I don't know why I like it so much. I guess it's just the dark colors and the landscape. I just love these old, dark, moody paintings. So, and I got a really good deal on it. It's it's a it's a decent size, um, and I, I think um, he usually gives me a pretty good deal, but I think he gave it to me for like forty five dollars. And um, I don't know. I just love it. I just like the dark, moody paintings. I think they're wonderful. Okay. And um, because of the fact that I am keeping um, some of these things, and there's only so much room a person has in their house, um, I am letting go of a few things from my personal collection, which, um, this being one of them, I'm letting go of my wonderful friend here. with the <laughs> He's just got the cutest face. And now that I look at him, I think to myself, why? Why am I getting rid of you? I don't need to get rid of you because you're wonderful. But... I can't keep everything. I need to live in a mansion. Where's my rich boyfriend? <laughs> we all need one of those, right? This guy right here, he's also been listed in the shop. Wonderful, rare piece, I think from the 60s, but part of my collection that is going, or is already actually listed in the shop. Um... This is actually already sold. This is a wonderful um, antique Halloween postcard. And um, let's see. 1924. But isn't it neat? I just love antique Halloween postcards. They're just wonderful. And this guy right here. <laughs> He's already listed in the shop. He's a neat guy. He's missing his 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 little plugs missing. Um but his little hand goes up with the coin and his tongue moves out of the way for the coin to go in. And uh it's got that little lever on the back, and that's what you press in order to have him munch the coins. He's a cute guy. He reminds me, and I don't even, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is going to agree with me or not, but um, do you remember the serial killer that used to dress up like a clown? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but his face reminds me of him. Anybody else seeing the resemblance? I don't know. Just does. A little creepy. A little creepy. But um, then we have this guy right here. This wonderful elf. And it is um, an ashtray, and the smoke comes out of the head and out of the ears. And it's in excellent condition. Um, made in Japan, Rutcher, and um, that's listed in the shop. It's just really, really cute. 
And what else do we have here? This is um, a tin type. Um, it does have some of that, um, you know, you can see the pink in his cheeks. And I'm a little unsure. What would he have? A cat hair or something? Um, but kind of reminds me of maybe a preacher or something. I, I mean, I could be wrong. But he's handsome. And um, anyways, this is in, in my shop. And I'm assuming that the, um, you know, the leather, leather albums that they were in must have bit the dust. But um, this is what's remaining. Then I also have this little brooch pin here. It's a cute little girl. It's also in the shop. And let's see. I got this wonderful ribbon from Thrift Kitten and I love it because of the owl and then I am letting go and you guys are probably going to gasp of my clowny my mouse clowny I know but I've got, I'm keeping one. I've got one left, one mousy left. And this wonderful, <sighs> wonderful, wonderful little friend of mine is going to find a new home. But this is listed in the shop too. Like I said, I can't keep everything. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I'm going to be, um, what do you call it? Classified as a hoarder. <laughs> We don't need that. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my haul. And like I said, I do have quite a bit more to show you. Um, I'm going to be doing another haul video here soon in a few days. And um, lots more good stuff going to be going into the shop. And um, if you are interested, I do have... Um, a bunch of, I mean, a whole huge box of Halloween stuff that I am doing, like a raffle where you buy a ticket and um, then I'll draw for the winner. And um, it's just a bunch of different Halloween stuff. So that's over on Instagram and you can go over there and enter. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you today. See you later.